And joining us, we welcome Spain's ambassador to France, Fernando Cardarera. Thank you for speaking with us here on France 24. Thank you to you for inviting me. We're talking ahead of another rally planned uh, this evening in Barcelona. We've seen yesterday the airport, today the main highway linking Barcelona to France uh, blocked. Are we back to 2017? No, uh, let me put this in context. This is uh, the um, failure of independentism after the decision by the Court of Justice. Everything was a huge invention. And it has uh, enormous costs, and this is very regrettable. The most important one is the social uh, division among Catalans themselves. Uh, there is a, a division in, in the Catalan society which is going to take years to restore. Not to talk about the uh, uh, exit of um, enterprises. More than 5,300 enterprises have left Catalonia to establish themselves in the rest of Spain. This is due to the lack of uh, responsibility of some Catalan leaders who have uh, converted a political and economic problem into an identity problem. Uh, there is no problem of territorial integrity in Spain. Now the problem is coexistence between Catalan, uh, co uh, co coexistence between themselves. And uh, to solve the problem... But it is a problem need... of territorial integrity for Spain. If you have election after election, 48% one way and 48% the other in Catalonia. Well, you have 47% uh, 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 for independence, 53% uh, against independence in the most overall case for independentism. And to solve the problem of coexistence between Catalans, which is the main problem now, not the problem of territorial integrity, this is over. There has been already a, a decision by the Court of Justice. And this is the, a complete failure for independentism, who didn't get any support in Spain or in well, the to, international. Uh, to region. solve it, you need to have dialogue. We heard uh, the, the uh, outgoing foreign minister, Josep Borrell, say so much. Of course, you can't have dialogue if you don't have a stable government in Madrid, which you don't have yet because we're having another snap election. Uh, well, we will have elections. Uh, first of all, there is an interim government which can take decisions. Then uh, the fact of being an interim government doesn't mean that you cannot uh, do and negotiate. But you're not going to make a major decision on the camp while, while campaigning for, for, for this election, are you? Uh, sure. And uh, sure. the result of the election, we'll know which is going to be. It will give a rise to our government which is going to be a stable government. But uh, before that, we need uh, two, uh, two conditions. First, to have a, a Catalan government and a Catalan parliament, parliament, which represents the whole or the citizenship of Catalonia, because Catalonia is not a single unity where people are focused on independence. A minority of them is focused on independence. And we need also a government and a, region and a parliament in Catalonia which respect decisions by the judges and which respect and abide by the law. Provided that we have those two conditions, the Spanish government is ready and was ready and, is, and will be ready for a dialogue with uh, the regional authorities of Catalonia because we need to uh, reestablish this coexistence among Catalans themselves. The separatists, though, the optics and your job as ambassador, of course, is to sell the image of Spain abroad. The optics aren't great seen from abroad. The, the nine to 13 year sentences for people who don't follow the story closely, they see nine to 13 year sentences for nonviolent separatists. Well, uh, the court, the, the, the case has been dealt in an exemplary way with, by the Court of Justice, the Supreme Court of Justice. They have listened to more than 400 witnesses. They have seen more than 200 videos. Uh, they have respected the rights of every party in the process. They have stated about facts and not about ideas. Uh, what was judged were not ideas but facts. And those facts were not to put or organize a vote or to put some uh, ballots. It was to act against the law, to uh, go against the Spanish constitution, to go against the Catalan constitution, and to ignore the law, both the Spanish and the Catalan law. And this is uh, very uh, heavy when you are a public authority, because it means that you act against the law and against the majority of the will of the citizens. Again, we're the, there's this issue of talking across purposes between what you're describing, a criminal procedure, yes. and what we heard, uh, the, again, the outgoing foreign minister describe, which is a political process, which is how it's going to end eventually, right? 
because we are in a new phase. We have entered already a new phase, and it is important that the uh, Catalan government uh, made itself clear that we are in this new phase. We are no longer talking about independence. We are talking about solutions. And to find solutions, we need dialogue. But to, to find uh, or, or to establish this dialogue, we need to respect the law. And, uh, and then we can talk dialogue, about amnesties. And every dialogue is possible in, uh, within the framework of the law. And this is something that the Spanish government is willing to do. And my minister said it uh, uh, right now. Fernando Cadrera, Spain's ambassador to France. Thank you for speaking with us here on France. Thank you to you. Thank you very much. In other stories, uh, 